In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Avalonix Pro Series IP camera to your PoE and VR. In this case, the camera is connected with only one network cable going from the camera's pigtail to the back of the NVR into the number one PoE port. Our NVR has a built-in PoE switch. So here's what you need to do. First, make sure your camera is set to the correct IP address. In our NVR, the internal PoE switch has an IP address 10.1.1.1. So I have set our camera to 10.1.1.2. That is set on the camera. And the subnet and gateway are the same. So again, my camera is set to an IP address 10.1.1.2 and the subnet and gateway are the same. Now in order to add the camera, if you hit device search and it doesn't pull up, it's completely fine. I have my camera connected to the number one PoE port on the back. Depending on the size of your NVR, you can have one through eight, one through four, one through 16, what have you. But this is on the NVR with a built-in PoE switch. To add the camera, I will go to manual add, select the channel number. Since this is on port one, it'll be channel one. Select the driver as Anvif, enter the IP address. Our TSP port will be 554 and the HTTP port will be 2000. This is specific to this generation of Avalonix Pro Series IP cameras. My username and password is default admin admin on the camera so I'll leave it the same here. I will leave the decode buffer and remote channel as they are by default and hit save. And here I have my camera turning on in the background. On the status, I see a green light. I'm going to go to encode to ensure that my recording resolution is showing up as it's supposed to. I can see that my camera is set to a resolution of four megapixels, which is 2592 by 1520, frame rate of 15, and a bit rate of 8192. On your camera, if you have set the bit rate type to VBR and it's still showing up a CBR here, don't worry, the camera will govern the video quality and the NVR will record it, even though this is set to CBR here. 